Instead of your father's ring, how about you wear the cufflinks we got you? Oh, Mama, I want to wear the ring. We have a really good life in Chicago, but they have a different set of rules down in Mississippi. You have to be extra careful. I know. Bo, be small. Like this? He's just going to see his cousins. Not a bad thing for him to know where he come from. Ladies, first and foremost, thank you for your art, your work, your dedication to spreading, I feel like, a very important message. Um, one thing that I noticed um, during the film was there was a saying, um, sh uh, Shinoya? Chinoya. Chinoya, mm -hmm. um, where it said, you mentioned playing Mammy helped you understand and shape Mamie. your, Mammy, mm -hmm. uh, help you understand and shape your own journey in activism. So can you kind of give me a little bit more and why you say that? Well, uh, what one of the things that I've learned about Mamie's journey and Mamie as a person in researching this film, making this film, um, was how intentional she was, how strategic she was, not just in literal movement building, but also really strategic and intentional about various forms of resistance. And that includes love and joy and community alongside of that very hands-on practical movement work. And all of that can exist alongside each other at the same time. It's actually important for all of that to exist. And so that's one of, that, that was something that's really resonated with me as I think about um, the work, I, the ways that I want to contribute to the world and my activism and advocacy and how important my own joy is. And so I'm really thinking about how, how to balance all of that together alongside it because that's resistance, you know. So mm -hmm. that's what I meant by that comment. For sure. Um, one thing I was really, really interested in knowing was did you already know who you are going to cast? to play this very pivotal role? Did you have Danielle in mind? Or? I had no idea. No idea? I had no idea. I really went in with an open mind, open casting process. I knew I wanted the most excellent craft-driven actor to play to play this role. And also somebody, you know, when I cast, particularly for lead roles, I look at here. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate a story with just your eyes? Can you hold a frame, <laughs> command a frame without saying a word? Can you get underneath and in between the words and, and the, into the pauses and the silences? Um, and are you willing and able to really go as deep as I need you to go? And Danielle checked all of those boxes times 100, yes. as you can see in her um, performance. Uh, let me tell you something. Yes. <laughs> yes, Danielle. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> even though, even though, <laughs> Danielle, look, I mean, I just get chills. I mean, we can say right? it again, yeah, Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> um, <laughs> one thing that really captivated, like, you know, was just said, your eyes and your emotion. And I mean, I, it, it takes a while for me to cry, mm -hmm. um, but you brought me there. I was starting to, you know, tear up and just really be in the moment with you. Where are you drawing that from? What is your motivation? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the motivation is from black experience in general. I think mm -hmm. coming to this film was a difficult choice be because it's a difficult moment to, to, to engage. Um, I am a child of Atlanta, Georgia. I am a child of uh, Southern Christ of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, of Cascade United Methodist Church. I understand the civil rights legacy. These organizations the, were pivotal in helping me understand what it meant to, to, to resist in the way that the, that community did. And so knowing that, having that kind of personal legacy and knowing how integral that organization was and those people who I worked under and volunteered under had relationship with Mamie or were deeply impacted by Mamie, were, were you know, emboldened to make the choices that they did because she made mm -hmm. such a, 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 an integral choice uh, and a critical choice for, um, for global awakening and understanding what was happening to black people in the South at the time. Uh, so, so I just have that, I have that 
as my DNA. And then I have Chinoya helping me, you know, with every step of the way in this script. And we did it together and we did it every day uh, at 100% capacity. And I have a glorious cast and crew that are comforting me, that are in solidarity with me. It's not just me out there doing it. Um, that's, that's, it was a, it's a weight to step into this kind of uh, embodiment. And um, I'm just grateful for everyone. Was there moments of just feeling emotionally drained? Or? Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, but she took care of me. Good. Whoopi took care of me. Barbara, our, one of our producers, she took care of me. They, they, they know that, that things have to feel a certain way, but they also made sure that I was able to, to come out of things. Um, the camera department wore white shirts, button down shirts and ties mm -hmm. in solidarity on the really hard days. Um, I am loved and supported by people in every department. I hadn't worked in Atlanta in two years, but to come home and to do this film and to see somebody I know, I personally knew, whether it's, um, you know, artistically from other projects or just dear friends or someone who, you know, in the wardrobe department, they, you know, had known me since I was a kid doing like the first things of, you know, artistically that I had ever done that create, that like imprinted in my mind what it means to be an actor, mm -hmm. right? Like that was how comforted and covered and, and supported I was, so. And one thing I was wondering is, I know that you're, not only a black woman, mm -hmm. uh, clearly, I'm a but too. you're a mother too. Yeah, yeah. So some of um, the choices that Mamie did in, in the movie, um, one I would love to know, were, would they be some choices that you would do for your son today? I make those choices today. I have to have a conversation with my son about the relationships that he has, um, especially like, you know, navigating the world, the, 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 the more diverse world and the relationships that he has like as friends and say, you know, it looks different for you. If you're out with them and something happens, they're going, they might, they might treat you differently than they treat your friend. I have to have that conversation mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. I also know that he's very cognizant of what's going on and he sees how, how differently his friends may have been impacted by or not by what happened in Buffalo and what happened in Uvalde. Mm -hmm. These are things that he's witnessing me have a reaction mm -hmm. to and I have to have a conversation with him. And so um, it's just, it's, 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 it's amazing to know that that, that continuum is, is, is still what mm. it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to have conversation with him before I even did the movie to talk to, talk to him and say that this is what's going to happen to me. These are the experiences that I'm having. But I still come home and do homework mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and have dinner and, and, and be as loving as I possibly can, you mm -hmm. know, in the midst of all of the stuff that we are enduring every day. Mm -hmm. Chinoya, um, one thing I appreciated was that you did not show the trauma of, or the brutality that Emmett had to suffer. Um, and I'm glad that you made the choice to see, for us to see in the lens of the mom. I mean, we never see that. Um, what was something with you making that choice, what was something that you really wanted the viewer to walk away with at the end of this movie? In me, by me making that choice, what did I want viewers? Yeah. Um, I want, in me making that choice, I mean, I hope that it's, it's, it situates the narrative even more firmly um, on Mamie and her journey. Um, and it situate it, it, it lets, it, it brings, it highlights the love that existed between Mamie and Emmett. But I also, by making that choice, I hope people can walk away from really seeing, feeling, understanding Emmett's humanity and his life that exists so, that, that transcends the black and white photo that we're all used to seeing of his corpse, of his body. And so, um, and so, yeah, all of all of that, you know, and, and also I hope they feel cared for, feel cared for, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I was mm -hmm. very intentional about, you know, as Danielle has said before in previous interviews, using the phrase critical care and, and you know, and, and making and that decision was a part of that. Mm -hmm. Last question, um, you know, a couple of years back, uh, 
Emmett Till's accuser came out and said that she lied and fabricated the story. What is your thoughts on that? And that actually was not true. Mm. Yeah, it was not true. Okay. And that came out that was it was there was no evidence to support it, and and that was later step walked back on. Mm. Yeah. Okay, because I was wondering, you know, with the you know with him whistling, there was also talk about him possibly, you know having autism or something like that. And I'm like, okay. So there was, there's been so many different uh, accounts of the story, but um, thank you so much for no clearing that up. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I really wanted to know Did it happen? That. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much again to thank both you. of you ladies for allowing me to interview and talk about this movie. And I highly recommend it, not only to mothers and sons, but just to women in general, I think. Everyone. To everyone. everyone. People. Yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it did bring out the humanity and the like, Wow. Thank you. You should have been in the theater with me. Everybody's like, oh, you know, <laughs> when they show the body and then he whistled, they're like, no, don't do it. So, yeah. Thank you again. Thank ladies. you. Thank, right. Thank you so everyone. much. You take care. Okay, you too. Bye.